What is muscle memory? This might sound like a simple question, but in actuality it's far from simple. For starters, there's no such thing as memory stored in muscles. Muscles are merely the motors that pull on the skeletal system to create physical movements. In actuality, coordinated muscle contractions are initiated through electrical stimuli that come from several areas of the brain, which work in concert together to create a movement that is integrated into a particular environment to ensure task completion. And since human brains are designed to work best when focusing on a single task, our minds are always trying to maximize its attention center. It can do this by creating memories that can be instantly accessed for simple tasks like motor functions, such as walking, driving, or throwing a ball. Once a memory has been formed, a person can instantly, smoothly, and accurately repeat these physical tasks with little to no mental effort. These memories, which are stored and accessed in the brain, are what most people call muscle memory. But in the scientific world, these processes are referred to as a scheme a procedural memory, a discrete motor function, a stored motor task, or what I like to call an automatic neural pathway. The initiation of an automatic neural pathway starts in the frontal lobe, which is the part of the brain that makes you, you. This is the area that contains your thoughts, strategies, motives, and decision-making center. This is where you decide on a physical task. Inside of your frontal lobe is the premotor cortex, this section of the brain contains a drop-down menu, so to speak, for all of your automatic neural pathways. These memories are essentially the easy buttons of life. Once a memory is picked, a systematic set of commands fire through your motor cortex, which is the part of the brain that actually generates the body movements needed to complete a task. However, the process doesn't end there. After an automatic neural pathway has been activated, the real powerhouse of the brain takes over, the cerebellum. The cerebellum is one-tenth of the brain's mass, but contains 50% of the brain's neurons. It's the automatic center of the brain that controls things like breathing, digestion, and heart rate. The cerebellum also controls balance, muscle tone, and systematic coordination. And coordination is the key to completing any complex movement. You see, working in real time on unperceivable levels, the cerebellum continually tracks the current location of every body part and directs it where it needs to go to complete a selected task. It receives instant updates from sensory neurons and sends instant corrections to the outer extremities through motor neurons. The cerebellum also has the ability to create its own systematic memory for automatically directing body parts. This is why a person can walk, text, and chew gum all at the same time with no mental effort on at least two of these functions. Now this is an oversimplified map of procedural memories, but it works well as a foundational understanding of an automatic neural pathway, or what most people call muscle memory. Using this as a platform, we should be able to create an experiment to see how many physical repetitions and how many days of practice it takes to create an automatic neural pathway.